What's up everyone? Welcome to part three of our YOLO tutorial series. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to process your videos in a Python script in real time. So what you see here is that same video I've been showing, but instead of calling YOLO from the command line and saving a file that we can watch later, and in this case, we're actually running the file with OpenCV in a Python script and doing the predictions in real time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set all this up. So let's get started. So for this video, we're going to leave Jupyter and we're gonna to come to Atom and write our code in a normal Python file. And the reason for that is because we need to use OpenCV to display our windows in our video. And I'm not sure if Jupyter has the support to display OpenCV windows in line. So we're just gonna come to Atom, write our code in a normal Python file. And one more thing to mention, with my setup, I'm able to process video with YOLO at about 20 to 22 frames per second. So in order for the video playback to look smooth and not slow down considerably, what I did was I took my 60 frame per second video and downsampled it to 20 frame per second video. So I did this with OpenCV and I'll post the code to my GitHub so you can look at it and reuse it if you need to. But yeah, that's one thing to keep aware of. And with different setups, you'll be able to process at different speeds. So I'm able to process at 20, you might be able to do better or not as good. So you'll just need to be aware of that and get your video content with approximately the same frames per second that your setup can process. So yeah, just one thing to keep aware. So now let's dive into the code. So I've got a new Python file open in Atom and we're gonna start with our import. So we're gonna import CV2. We're going to import, um, actually it's gonna be from darkflow.net.build. We're going to import capital T F N net. So one thing to be aware of is this file needs to be in the same directory as that Darkflow master. That's because all the code is there and it's not installed globally. So yeah, just put this file in the same directory or inside your Darkflow master folder. So then we're gonna import NumPy as NP, NP. Then we're gonna import time because we wanna time how fast we're processing this stuff. So again, we're gonna create that option dictionary. And first thing's gonna be the model, and it's gonna be located in CFG slash, and then it's gonna be the yolo.cfg file. So that's our model. Then we're going to load the weight. So the next one's gonna be load, and it's gonna be in our bin folder, and it was the yolo.weights. Next thing is gonna be the threshold. So this determines um, how high of a confidence factor it needs to have in order for it to generate a window. So I'm gonna go with 0.15, which seems to be good. And then we're gonna say GPU is going to be 1.0. Cool, and then finally we're gonna call, or we're gonna create this thing called tfnet. It's gonna be equal to tfnet and then we're just gonna pass the option. So like before, this is just going to initialize our model, so then we're ready to make predictions. Cool. Next, we're gonna create an object called capture, and what this is gonna be equal to is cv2.videocapture, and then what we pass is the video we want to process. So it's gonna be, I called it video file underscore 1080 underscore 20 FPS, and it's gonna be .avi. So this is that file that I processed to reduce the frame rate. Cool, the next thing I wanna do is create a list of colors. So I just want a list of random colors to, just to give some variation to the boxes. So I'm gonna call it colors, and it's gonna be equal to a list, and we're gonna do a list comprehension. So what we want is a tuple, and that tuple is going to be a random array of numbers. So it's gonna be mp.random.rand, and we're gonna pass a three, so we get an array that's three elements long. 
And since we want it to go from 0 to 255, we'll just multiply it oops, by 255. And then since we want a few entries, we're just going to do 4i in range. Um, we'll do 100. Well, let me just do let me just do 5 for now and then we'll um, for color in colors. Let's go ahead and print color. And then I'm just going to comment this out and run the code just so you see what it looks like. Cool, so you can see here, we just get a bunch of tuples with random numbers in them. Cool, so we'll uncomment that and delete this. Now let's proceed to the while loop. So while the capture dot is opened so while our while our video is open what we're going to do is we'll start by creating the start time so i'm going to call it s time and that's going to be equal to time dot time so this is so we can time the frame time and then next we're going to do ret comma frame equals capture dot read so ret is going to be either true or false. Like it's true when the video is playing and it's false when the video ends. And the frame is the actual frame. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the results. And that's, that's going to be equal to tfnet dot return. Yeah, re, return predict. And then we're just going to pass the frame. Cool. And then now if ret, so if the video is playing, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do for color, comma, result um, in, then we're going to zip the, the colors and the results. So zip is going to make a list, it's gonna make a list and then each item is gonna be a tuple. So it's gonna be one color and one result. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to recycle a lot of the code from the previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. So this should be familiar from the last video, but we're going to create the top left and the bottom right, which is the coordinates of the box. And then we're going to get the label. Cool. So the next thing we're going to do is add the rectangle and put the text. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that as well. So we're going to rename the frame. So the frame is just going to be um, the frame with the rectangle on it. So we're going to call cv2.rectangle, pass in the frame, pass in the two coordinates, pass in the color, and we're going to go with the line with the seven. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the text on it. So this should be familiar as well. Frame is going to be equal to cv2.puttext. We're gonna put it on the frame. We're gonna add the label to it in the top left corner. This is gonna be our font. This is our font scale or like the size of it. And then we're gonna use black font and the line width will be two. Cool. And then, so this, is, this means we're looping over all the items, all the results. So adding a box for each thing that it detects. So now we're gonna come outside that for loop and we're gonna do CV cv2.mshow and we're going to show in the title we'll just call it frame and then what we're going to display is the frame itself so finally we're going to do a print statement just so we can see what the frames per second is so we're going to do fps and then we're going to format the number so we're just going to have one decimal place and then we'll call format and the calculation is going to be 1 divided by time time dot time and then we're going to subtract s time from it then just some boilerplate code so if cv2 dot weight key is 1 and um, 0 x ff equals ord q we're gonna, oops, 
we're going to break out of our loop. So this just means if we hit the Q key, it'll end. Cool. So then we're going to tab over to here. So this means if, so basically if the video ends, ret will become false. So this is our else, like our end statement. We're going to capture, we're going to release. So we'll release the capture and then we're going to do CV2 dot destroy, destroy all windows. And finally, we're going to break. So hopefully all this works. So I'm going to go ahead and run it now. Cool. So fingers crossed, hopefully it'll work. Sometimes it's been buggy when I have my screen recording going. So there's the model loading finished and okay. We didn't get the window. So what I need to do is start it, then start the recording. So one second, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. We've got it playing now. So you can see here we're running at about 19 or 20 frames per second. I've noticed it's slightly slower when I'm doing my screen recording, but yeah, so this is our video. So you can see we're getting random colors for the boxes and we're getting the label. And because we lowered the threshold a bit, we're seeing more boxes showing up. So this is how you would do it. Um, again, I'm going to post this code to my GitHub so you have access to it. You can play with it however you like. But the main thing to keep aware of is testing your system, seeing how fast you can process frames at, and getting video content at that um, frame rate. So in later videos, I'm going to try and see if I can optimize this to eke out a little bit more speed and try some other file formats, maybe the 1080p and the codec that I'm using for it is not the best for this YOLO algorithm, but I'm going to play around with that. And in the next video, we'll see if I have anything to report on better codecs. We'll look at that, but also we're going to try and process live video from a camera. So I'll get my camera set up and display some images and see if we can process this stuff in real time. So thanks guys. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of these videos, then hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.